Hi everyone, how are you all doing? Too many requests for this one. Dipna, when are you going to do dal? Dipna, have you done dal yet? Well, I'm doing dal today. So this is tarka dal and I am using two lentils. So I'm mixing two, masoor and mung. Both are what we call tutiya which means washed. So um, they're off the skin. So I, what I've done to begin with is just to show you both the two types of lentils. So one is the masoor and one is the mung. And I have washed both and left them to soak for about 30 minutes, just so you can see both types of dal. Now, the reason I've chosen uh, mung and masoor is because these are two that cook really, really fast. So you can have a dal within 25 to 30 minutes which is great. So I'm gonna go in straight with the lentils into my boiling water like this. And what I want to add to my boiling water, I can smell samosas on that side. My dad is frying samosas right there. <laughs> okay, what I want to add to my dal right now to start with is some turmeric for a nice color. The turmeric goes in like this. We are going to add turmeric as well to the tarka, but we are adding it to our boiled lentil, boiling lentils. Okay, and some salt um, as well. I'm going to put that now on a medium heat. Give it a bit of a stir. And this doesn't take long at all. In fact, it will take probably about 20 to 25 minutes. And in that time, our tarka should be perfectly cooked. So I'm just going to switch this a little bit lower actually than what it is. There you go. And I'm also going to get the lid onto there as well. Just be careful that it doesn't overflow. Just keep checking it. Put it on a low heat if you are worried. That's, I think that's perfect. These burners are a little funny. Okay, on this side now, let me move over a little bit. I am going to go ahead and start my tarka for my tarka dal. Okay, so switch my heat on here to a medium to high to start with. And I also need some cumin right here. And I also need some ghee. So I am making my tarka dal traditionally with ghee. You don't have to use ghee, you can use oil, you can use butter, that's absolutely fine. I just think ghee gives tarka dal such a nice flavour. Saying that, when we make it at the restaurant, uh, our tarka dal, we just do it in oil. We use vegetable oil, so it becomes a vegan dal. So if you want to do it that way, uh, you can go ahead and use um, vegetable oil. But here goes with the ghee. There you go, lots of benefits now. You can read about the now supposedly it's supposed to be actually a good fat if you eat it in limited um, amounts. There you go, ghee. Alrighty, and I'm going to go in now with my cumin seeds and sizzle those like this in my ghee. Give that a mix. Perfect, it's already starting to sizzle. So when you hear the cumin sizzling and talking to you, you know what that means. It means I am ready for my finely chopped onions. So I'm going to add enough for all of that dal. There's quite a lot of quite a lot of dal there, so that should be fine. That should be perfect. Okay, give that a mix. Now, where does the word tarka come from? Most of you know. So tarka means sizzling or tempering spices uh, in oil with the onion your ginger garlic, green chilies, and tomatoes. So that's what it means when you are doing a tarka. So these onions are gonna take about four minutes to brown. So you wanna really caramelize them as you're starting a base of a curry or as you are starting a base of a curry, that's what you're doing. So let's give these three or four minutes and then we are going to go in with our green chili and our ginger garlic as well. Okay, so my onions have cooked really really well they are nice and caramelized and brown just as I want them my dal I've taken the lid off now because it was boiling quite vigorously and now I can keep an eye on it and also it's quite cool because you can see there's a see-through saucepan so you can see <laughs> exactly 
how it's bubbling away. Okay, right, so onions, and now we need to add some green chili. Green chili, um, which I have finely chopped. So, pink green chilies, finely chopped, go into my tarka base. Okay, and we're also gonna go in with the ginger and garlic paste. So go in first of all with the ginger. Now I'll go in with the garlic, like this. Quite generous because that gives a great taste to your stem sauce. And okay, this is the mix. And put my heat on a little bit lower. There we go. Give my lentils a mix. Multitasking here. I learnt this from mum. Okay, so um, now my ginger garlic green chilies have gone in to my onions. You can see that there. Perfect. And I'm also going in with fresh tomato um, as well. You can use tin tomatoes, but for this dal, I am using fresh tomato. So let's go in with the amount that I need. That should be enough. Fresh tomato, there we go. Give that a mix. I'm also going to put my, or some of my spices in to my tarka at this stage as well. It's actually cooking really, really well. Give my lentils another mix. Right, let's go in with some red chili as well. I'm gonna add a nice chili kick. Also gonna go in for color with my turmeric. There you go, in there. And I'm also going to add to my tarka some salt. So let me go ahead and add some salt. I have added salt to my lentils, so I'm not gonna add too much. There you go, that's perfect. And give that a mix now and now that's gonna probably need another three to four minutes max five and when the ghee starts to seep out the edges I know my third car will be done and when I get to that stage I'll show you all give my lentils another mix Wow, they are cooking well see mung and masoor washed lentils don't take long to cook at all in fact the way you tell is you take some and you squeeze it so if you can squeeze it that means that they're cooked so this probably has maybe another 10 to 12 minutes to go let's give that some time as well so my ghee has started to seep out of my third car like this and my third car is cooked perfecto in fact that looks like a mean Tarka. What I'm going to do at this stage is switch the heat off. Finishing touches will go in right at the end when I put my tarka into my dal, so it becomes dal tarka. My dal is not going to take long because I just checked it, so I just think another one to two minutes. Right, my dal is cooked perfectly. Look, I'm going to show you something. Look at this. You do the squeeze test if you don't want to use your fingers. You squeeze with two spoons together. And if it mushes like this, your lentils are cooked. See, keep it. Right, now we're gonna go in with our mean tarka in our dal. Just in all of it together like this. Now you can adjust the water content at this stage. So once you give it a mix, so let me get the tarka in. Tarka is all in, give that a mix. Oh, look at that color change. And look at that wicked doll. In fact, I don't think it needs any water. Delicious. I'm gonna go in with my final touch. So some fresh chopped coriander into my doll. Also some kasturi methi secret ingredient. So some dried fenugreek into your tarka doll. Just watch the difference this makes and also some garam masala as well so just a little bit of garam masala that is wow that is wicked that looks so good right i'm gonna lower the heat a little bit now give it a mix and actually that is your third gadal cooked perfectly you can see i love this pan because you can see what's going on that is great my new pan that allows me to see, oh, I can really smell that tarka and that ghee, so yummy. Right, you know what I need to do? One thing left. You know what that is. And I told you, this is how simple and easy it is to make 
tadka dal and a delicious tadka dal right here goes this is wicked that is so yummy i'm gonna add slightly a little bit more salt just tiny tiny bit of salt that is done that is my dal cooked to perfection i'm not even kidding that is so tasty and the best thing so simple so you can find all my recipes under my videos remember so you can't say that no you haven't done a dal i done tarka dal and that is a beauty right let me move this over here and let me lift up and show you right use my muscles ready Ooh. right guys there is my third cousin. i hope you've enjoyed that in the meanwhile stay happy and stay healthy i'm gonna go enjoy my doll with roti bye